teachers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we talk everything special education. If that interests you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Today, I'm going to be talking about the hardest aspects of being a special education teacher. Go ahead and comment below and let me know your thoughts. What do you think is the hardest part of being a special education teacher? I want to give a little disclaimer about this video because I hate just doing like negative videos, but I also think this topic is important too because I think that people should know what they're getting into. I absolutely loved being a special education teacher, but there were realistically, there were some hard parts too. And I do have some YouTube videos all about my favorite parts about being a special education teacher. So make sure you go watch that video after you watch this one to maybe pump you up a little bit. Let's hop right in. The first reason being a special education teacher is a tough job is because of the demanding workload. Special education teachers must create and implement individualized education programs programs, aka IEPs, for each of their students. This can be a time-consuming process that adds to an already demanding workload. I have spent so many hours writing IEPs. It is draining and this time could have been spent working with my students, but that's just my opinion. The next really hard part about being a special education teacher is the behaviors. Working with students with challenging behaviors can definitely be hard. I have spent countless nights not being able to sleep, trying to think of ways to help my students with these big challenging behaviors. So emotionally, behaviors are challenging, but there are also students with very violent behaviors. I once had a student try to strangle me when I was pregnant, true story. When people from the general public hear stories like this, they are just shocked. But honestly, that is the reality of teaching special education. And I'm sure a lot of you watching this video have way crazier stories than I do. I could go on and on about these violent behaviors that I have had to deal with, but at the end of the day, I still absolutely love these students. It doesn't diminish how hard teaching special ed can be though. And I should mention that there might not be violent students in the special education setting that you choose to work in. I know that these students mean well, and you have to remember that behavior is communication. Remember that, that's my favorite quote. Behavior is communication. Reason number three, I always get hate when I talk about this one, so here we go. But number three is paraprofessionals. I hate to even put this on here, but I have had many teacher friends that quit their jobs as special education teachers because they found it difficult to work with other adults and be in charge of other adults. Of course, there are some really amazing paras out there and hopefully the majority of paras are amazing but there also can be some difficult paras too. It is hard enough to be a teacher with a lot of students, but also having to work with other adults is another added stress for special education teachers. I'm not gonna lie, I have had some pretty awful paras, and from my own experiences, being in charge of paras might be the hardest aspect of being a special education teacher, and Maybe that's a little bit of my personality too. I tend to sometimes let things go and then it happens again and things just build up and build up. So I've made other videos about working with paras and it's something that I've really worked on and now I feel like I'm actually pretty good at working with paras. But anyways, go watch those other YouTube videos that I have about working with paras because those are extremely, extremely helpful. The next reason being a special education teacher is hard is because of the low salaries. The pay for special education teachers and just teachers in general is not good. We all know it, especially for how much work and time we put into teaching. One time I calculated how much I get paid versus how many hours I work as a special education teacher and I was paid less than $5 an hour. So yeah, it's kind of sad when you look at it that way and especially like I think we should be paid for the emotional toll that this takes on our on ourselves and our personal life and everything. The next thing I wanted to talk about is lack of support. Special education teachers often face a lack of support from administrators and colleagues. They may feel isolated and unsupported, which can lead to high turnover rates. Next is student to teacher ratio. Special education teachers may have a higher student to teacher ratio due to the high demand for students needing special education services. This can make it difficult to provide individual attention to each student. Next, I kind of talked about this one, but the emotional toll. Another really hard aspect is the emotional toll it takes being a teacher. I can't even tell you how many times I came home crying 
or I had to go to the bathroom to hide that I was crying during the school day, mostly because of the stress this job can cause. There is so much put on our shoulders as teachers that sometimes it's just too much. The next reason teaching special education might be hard is limited resources. Schools may not have the resources necessary to provide comprehensive special education services. This can put a strain on special education teachers who are already stretched thin. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So there you have it. Those are the hardest aspects of being a special education teacher, in my opinion, vice versa. There are so many amazing things also that come with being a special education teacher. Like I said, make sure you go watch those videos about the things I love about being a special education teacher too, because yes, there are negatives to being a special education teacher, but there are also some really great aspects to it too. I will link that video in the description of this video. Make sure you listen to both sides. Go ahead and comment below. Let us know all about your experience teaching special education and what has been difficult for you. And you can also include the perks too if you want. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. If you're looking for some free resources for your classroom, make sure to check out the links in the description of this video. Also, I have a bunch of activities available in my TPT shop that you can purchase for your special education classroom. My TPT shop is called Activity Teacher. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Happy teaching.